What is going on guys? My name is Elmer Oyatu Chavez. I hope you guys are doing well. Taking a break from my gaming stuff for a second. Today I'm here with a bit of a review slash first impressions. Uh, if you guys can see behind me, I got some tech stuff. Uh, I got a PS5 controller going to be uploading an unboxing video of that soon. Uh, I've got a 3080 behind me. That's not a flex because I don't have it installed in my PC yet. I'm currently working on a build. Uh, and I also have, which is today's star, the Rurock Shock Pods. Uh, these are, I guess, the new in-helmet audio system that Rurock offers for their, I believe it's the 2020 line of helmets. I believe it's the Atlas the RG1DX and I believe the Berserk as well. Um, if you guys have a previous model or previous year's helmet, these aren't gonna fit on there. So today I'm gonna be installing these into my Rurock helmet right here. Uh, gonna take the bike out for a spin today, see how it sounds with the music, with maybe phone calls or voice, voice recording. So that way in case you guys wanna get into content creation and you guys wanna have a pretty decent setup, uh, we're gonna see how this goes. If at any point in the video you guys do enjoy it, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment down below if you guys have any specific questions I can tackle in another video about these shock pods and subscribe if you guys are new. Um, I do want to say as well, I'm not MKBHD, I'm not Linus Tech Tips, I'm not a tech YouTuber, I don't know the specifics of like an audio junkie or, or the, the sound quality or, or whatever. This is more of a consumer first impressions. You pop them in the headphones or you pop them in the helmet, you turn the headphones on, you go for a bike ride and how do they sound, you know? So we're gonna be doing that today, hopping on the Super 73 RX, but let's see what the install is like. Okay, so pretty cool to open up. All you would have to do really, let me see if I can close it again. So they come in like this in, a, in their own little packaging. All you'd have to do is just pull up the top and they kind of come out just like that. All right, so once they're out, oh, everything kind of falls apart in the packaging. Uh, so it comes with a USB type C cord. So if you have, I think maybe the new iPhones, no, the new iPhones are backwards. Um, any sort of Android device, uh, a Nintendo Switch or any other USB C device, it comes with a nice braided cable too. So this is probably gonna be really durable over, over time. Um, instruction manual, which we'll get to that in a second. And the headphones themselves, not as like complicated as I thought they would look, but let me go over the manual. I'm gonna probably cut to the, where they're actually installed into the helmet to save you guys some trouble. Um, but I guess if you guys are curious, uh, they go on each side of the helmet. They look like they're just, they just click into place. Like you just pop them in to the side vents here. Uh, yeah, each shock pod goes in there. There's an earpiece. The microphone would go, I guess, on one of these side mounts here as well on the inside part. But um, let's see here. It takes two and a half hours to charge. Uh, listening time for the battery life is six hours. But then some fancy other numbers, I don't know. But let me go ahead and put these on in the uh, headphones, install them in, and let's see how it looks and sounds. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I might look really dumb right now for not having the face mask on or anything. But after about maybe 10 minutes of just fiddling around with the velcro and the wiring on the inside they're installed uh when you put on the helmet you honestly don't even notice that they're in there um i'm not sure if the camera can pick it up but if you take a look at your own rock if you have the 2020 line right kind of where your ears are that's where the ear pieces are supposed to go uh you can put the mic really anywhere i have it here almost on my cheek on the inside of the helmet might have to reposition that because my face can get scratched up just by putting it on there just because it has a bit of a rough edge of the velcro just to obviously attach itself i did think i would be able to attach it to the mouthpiece but it wouldn't make sense when you're putting on and off the helmet with the audio system uh but let me see if i can pair this to my phone and see how it sounds okay so real easy to connect just obviously old school not like airpods hold down the power button It'll go into pairing mode. Uh, also, obviously, how to turn on and off the headset. And once you connect it to your phone, they're good to go. Um, I haven't even put the helmet on yet, so or with the audio on. So I'm not sure how it sounds, but I do have a couple of songs that I do want to test out. Now, obviously, me having this on full blast in front of my microphone isn't going to do it justice. So like I said, we're going to take this for a spin, put the GoPro on my, on my guard mount just like that and you know see how the audio is maybe listening or picking up music um how it is on phone calls and just recording audio in general but let's see here so today right now we're gonna be playing kennedy uh summer nights and see how it sounds on full blast 
honestly, I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up. So I'm going to put the microphone basically in the helmet just so you guys can have a better idea. And I'm not going to, and I'm not going to know how it sounds firsthand until I actually start writing. So yeah, just off of that, let me know how it sounds and let's take the bike for a spin and see how they sound firsthand on with the GoPro and everything. All right, guys. So what I'm going to be doing for this audio test is a couple of things. This is the audio right now coming from my GoPro Hero 9 mounted onto my mouth guard on the helmet. Um, no post-production audio. I never edit the audio or anything, so the audio that you get is pretty raw. What I'm also going to try and do is have the music playing so that way you guys can hear what the phone by itself or like any phone in general would sound like without any speakers or any headphones or anything like that. And then we're going to try to see if the GoPro can pick up audio coming from the helmet with the new Roo Rock system. And maybe even if I can figure out how to do a voice recording like in various memos or something. Uh, so let me play some music and see how it sounds. Oh, and the wind also helps as well too. So the same song from earlier, full blast volume on my phone. I am assuming the GoPro can kind of pick it up. Uh, now what we're going to do is turn on the headset. Uh, that dog scared me and see how it sounds. If I remember right, the power button for the headset is going to be on the right side. So let me set that up. Okay, now I have the headset on, so when I hit play on Spotify, music will be playing through the headset. Really excited to see how this plays out, especially in the past where I would maybe have AirPods in and as I put the helmet on, they would fall off or they just wouldn't sit right. Uh, the wind noise from riding could really distort the sound as well as coming from my phone, from speakers. So uh, let's kind of gain some speed, get some wind and see how they sound. Hopefully the GoPro can pick it up from the inside. Okay. You know, I can really tell the difference between like having wind come in my face versus if I turn my head, there's no wind. I mean, that's just, you know, a riding thing, but it sounds decent. I mean, it's nothing like full blast on a pair of Beast headphones, but I think that's a good thing. Okay, initial impression, like literally from like three minutes of riding, the audio is pretty good. It's not, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like I mentioned, it's not super bass heavy, as if you were wearing Beats or Skull Candies or Astros or something like that, right? Um, the air, the, the pods themselves, like where the music comes out of, it doesn't, it isn't necessarily in your ear or even on your ear. It almost rests over your ear. Um, if you guys have a 2020 Roo Rock and you guys um, maybe mess around on the inside, you guys can notice that around your ear placement area in the helmet, there's like two almost holes and that's where the ear pods go um so they're not resting directly on your ear they're not in your ear i uh, quick feel and i can't even reach it uh, but they're definitely on your ear um i don't want to play any loud bassy music for copyright reasons on the channel um but just for listening to some tunes riding a bike works well You can really tell the audio quality is a lot better than I'm saying when you're stopped. Obviously the music kind of conflicting with the wind of me riding the bike it does kind of clash a little bit so it doesn't sound as good but if you're maybe, I don't know, riding an, an electric skateboard, not going as fast as a Super 73 um, or whatever the case may be at a stoplight, it sounds really good, I'm not going to lie. And I'm sure if you just kind of readjust the positioning of the pods themselves inside of the helmet. Can I help you? <laughs> she stopped to look at what I was riding. Um, but yeah, if you're able to maybe reposition the pods on the placement inside of your helmet, 
maybe put them on the velcro or the neck liner so that way it's more pushed into your ear i'm sure you can make it sound just a little bit better but overall i like it oh they were waiting for me Are you guys waiting for me? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm assuming this would work, is go to voice memos and just record. Just hit record. Hopefully, if everything is set up, the mic from the helmet is what the phone will record. And if it doesn't, I'll try to find another way and I'm sorry it's not gonna be in the video. So I'm gonna be recording, hopefully from the mic, in three, two, one, Alright, so now we should be recording from the mic in the helmet. Um, I'm honestly not going to know how it's going to sound until I get home and start editing. So you guys are really getting a first-hand, you know, first look at the, you know, the quality of this. Does it have wind noise when I'm riding? Uh, is it distorted? Um, maybe this will be a general idea on how you'll sound on phone calls because this headset can do phone calls as well. So for the rest of the way home, uh, I'm just gonna ride and just talk randomness just so that way you guys can really see, you know, what the audio was like in kind of different conditions, I'm kind of maintaining an average 25 to 30 miles an hour of speed in case that matters as well. Um, but just Talking randomness. I don't know. I'm currently working on a PC build for anyone who's also a nerd like me. Um, kind of bumpy roads right now. Uh, so I might sound a little bumpy. But yeah, building a PC. Um, I woke up at like 4 a.m. yesterday as of recording this to go to Micro Center to get a 3080 card. Um, if you, and if you guys are computer nerds like me or really gaming nerds or whatever, you guys should know how hard those cards are to get. So I was lucky to get one on my first try because I have friends who have been trying day in and day out either online or in store to get a card. And uh, I don't know, I got lucky. I'm also debating on doing the same thing tomorrow when the new Ryzen AMD CPUs uh, release in store. I'm gonna try and get it online. Hopefully the item itself is not as hot as the cards were at launch. Um, I'm still kind of debating on the motherboard and kind of all of that would determine the power supply that I want to use, which uh, they were trying to get my attention. Um, this is my second PC build. The first one is about six, five, six years old. Um, got a subscriber, Jimmy, helping me out as well. Um, he actually told me the uh, the heads up on the card release date yesterday. So thanks to that again. Going to be using this for really a 2021 next generation, future proof, whatever you want to call it, gaming. So. Cold War, maybe Cyberpunk, you know, kind of having that paired, the PC paired up with the new PS5 that I'm getting soon. Um, all things, you know, I'm really trying to future-proof this PC as well. Um, bring better quality video content, better quality streams, and editing, make that a lot easier as well. Which, by the way, speaking of content, once again, subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, I do game and stream on Twitch a couple of times a week. Oh, wow, I just realized my keys, my house keys and car keys are in my jacket pocket. If I did something wrong, they could have fallen out real quick. What the hell? Who was revving their engine just now? And for what reason? <laughs> Zombie outbreak response team. I like that. But I mean, yeah, like I said, all my socials, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all that is in the description down below. So if you guys want to connect with me, chat with me, you know, game with me sometimes, link to everything is in the description down below. Um, sound wise, I guess in my point of view, at a stoplight, hear some cars, you know, engines going off. I see and hear cars going across the, uh, the freeway right there. Um, not really windy, anything like that. Um, like I said, just rambling on. So you guys can hear and kind of see different audio qualities of the headset. 
Um, what I also should do, actually, now that I think about it, and just for fun, if the phone will let me, because I have no idea, is record the microphone and music at the same time. Actually, double backtracking on that, I don't think that would work, because if you use this for phone calls and, you know, you're listening to music and you get a phone call, pretty sure the music would automatically stop anyway, so... I don't think you guys need to really hear yourself while talking on the headset. I don't even think there's a way to do that, unless maybe you're on Discord or something. But yeah, kind of windy right now. 28 miles an hour. Souped up forward. Uh, I think that's an escape. I could be wrong. Um, just passed by me. I don't know cars. If, I, if that's the right car, great. If I, if I got the wrong car by a mile, I'm sorry. Um, one thing I actually didn't want to mention as well, in terms of like going back to the audio, going back to listening to music and everything, I'm actually, now that I think about it, and now that I've like had a, some, a couple of minutes to listen to the music and everything, I'm okay with it not being loud as like beats or anything like that. Reason being, safety, all right? If you're listening to music, you know, have AirPods in, have beats in or, or whatever while you're out riding a bike or riding a board, you're not going to be able to hear what's around you. You're not going to be able to hear a car honking at you or someone yelling at you for some dumb reason, you know? Uh, so the fact that there's kind of like a bit of a gap between the pods and the, your ears themselves, allowing you to hear what's going on around you, I think that's actually a good idea. I didn't think of that before. So I'm okay sacrificing a little bit of, you know, direct audio quality, if you will, for, for safety. I'm okay with that. Aw, oh, look at the little dogger boggers. Lot of little dogger poggers, little pooter pooters saying randomness so you guys get a better idea on how this sounds. Oh, by the way, price point wise, I believe these headphones or this headset retails at about a hundred and thank you. What is it? I can't do math. Uh a hundred and thirty bucks, maybe a hundred and forty with shipping. Um, I actually only paid about 65 bucks because I know at the time we were at a promotion where if you have an older generation Rurock RG1DX helmet, they'll send you a coupon code to buy these at half off, so at 50%. Not sure if that's still going on or what. Maybe as of recording this, I know they're hyping up a Black Friday sale. Maybe they'll have these on sale again, um, but who knows? Just trying to be fully transparent with you guys. Then you guys know that, again, they're not sponsoring the video. They didn't pay me to do this. Obviously, I'm not relevant enough to do that. I paid for this out of my own pocket. Uh, waited the six to eight weeks. You know, it was supposed to be like maybe two, but COVID delays to get them in. Got them in a few days ago. Popped them in this morning. And here we are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap the video off, obviously, hopefully using the mic. If you guys did enjoy this video... Drop a like, leave a comment down below, and uh, subscribe for the next one.